So um, you eventually rose to become the head of the OR group at Arthur D. Little, and then I believe the head of the uh, management services division as a whole. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Harry Wisman moved on to uh, uh, work in the, the uh, corporate management of the company, and so I succeeded him as head of the OR group. 1959, I think, uh, the profile in Sol Gases. I think that's medicine. about right. Yeah. Um, what happened was that uh, Jim, Jim Gavin, who was a famous um, Army general and had been head of Army R&D, resigned and um, came to work at Littles uh, as executive vice president. And Harry, uh, since Jim was totally unfamiliar with the company, Harry moved in as his assistant. and. Um, so I moved into the spot of running the, or in charge of the operations research group. And um, a few years later, um, the, uh, the um, job of, of leading the management services division, which in included operations research and um, some of the industry-oriented groups and our, our marketing and, and financial management groups um, opened and they asked me to take that job, so I did. Um. Okay, uh, could you tell me a little bit about your ongoing relationship with the uh, professional societies, Orsa and TIMS? Of course, you became president of, uh, I feel it was TIMS, correct? You mean ongoing, you mean now? Uh, well, no, I mean uh, through time from the 50s and the 60s, perhaps the 70s. Were they interested, did they maintain an interest in uh, fostering the industrial aspect of OR? The society? Yes. Well, I think, I, uh, I think, I think the society um, tended to move much more toward the academic side. Um, we maintained a strong interest in it. Uh, uh, members of the group continued to be members of the society and played an active role in various ways in committees, and um, I eventually became president of Operations Research Society. And it was uh, also an interesting time because the Institute of Management Sciences was, was um, formed and developing, and there was a certain element of competition between the two, sort of a certain, I guess, sort of philosophical difference. And so, but I, I, I felt that they both had a lot to contribute and remained active in, in both of them and eventually became president of, of um, uh, uh, Tim's as well and uh, tried to support the idea of the two working together rather than being competitive. What would you say the uh, philosophical difference was? Um, I think, uh, how to put it, I think at the beginning uh, there was a sense among some professional people that the Operations Research Society was being captured by people who were too much focused on professionalism uh, and kind of not open to um, a, a broader perspective, <clears throat> and um, and I, I think so. The Institute for Management Sciences was really, in my recollection, and this is way many decades ago, was really focused on um, kind of a. They felt they had a broader perspective toward the issues of of management science. And um, they, they, I think, sort of considered the core of the Operations Research Society membership as being um, technicians. Mm 